This is Twit. I'm Father Robert Ballas here, the Digital Jesuit with Twit TV at NAB 2014. Now, if you are in production, you've probably heard about DJI. They're the ones who make these wonderful, wonderful drones. In fact, we saw one of the videos created with a DJI drone not too long ago on our channel. Corridor Digital showed their video of what Superman would look like if he were wearing a GoPro. And of course, that GoPro was mounted on the carriage of a DJI drone. This is their second generation drone. Now there are a few things that they've changed. The first thing is they've dropped the price. This is now $12.99, which is just $100 more than the first generation drone they showed off at CES. Also, they've increased the loiter time to 25 minutes. That means that once you get this up in the air, well, you've got a lot more time to get your shot. A few things that they've, uh, they've done to the electronics, they've included a Wi-Fi range extender, which basically doubles the range to about 700 meters. So you can get this, this drone far, far away from you, get those really high shots or those far shots if that's what you're looking for. Now, it's not just the platform that they've changed. They've also improved the camera. Underneath the carriage of this drone is a 14 megapixel fully gyro stabilized camera. That means that you can use your phone mounted on the top of this controller to tilt back and forth to control the direction of the camera in mid-flight. Also, they've moved the electronics off of the camera itself into the body of the drone, which means that the weight of the camera is not so much that it can't be finely controlled by the motor servos. Now, we've got plenty of footage of this drone in flight from Showstoppers the other day and in fact we've got some footage from here in the booth just showing the fine control that they can have of positioning altitude, longitude, latitude, whatever. Now the last feature I absolutely think is, is going to be essential, it's going to become the norm for these types of devices is the GPS home feature. When you get this into an area where it can receive a GPS signal it knows it's home. Which means that if you lose connectivity, if your controller dies, if, if somehow the Wi-Fi cuts out, the drone won't plummet and crash or fly out into the ocean. It will actually come back to the position it knows at home. It's a nice thing to do if you want to save your investment. Now, we're going to see more and more of this at NAB 2014, but uh, if you want the gold standard, it's all DJI. If you're a content creator, you probably love those buttery smooth shots. You know the ones I'm talking about, that perfect zoom, that perfect pan or tilt. The problem is, unless you have a huge budget, you can't afford the platforms, the steady can rigs, and the operators that you need to get those shots. That was until now. We're here at DJI, and I'm sitting next to Paul, who, uh, well, Paul, you're holding the Ronin. What is this? Yeah, this is our uh, all new three axis uh, camera stabilization system. Uh, we've taken our Zemuse technology uh, for camera stabilization and we've implemented it into a handheld system. Um, it's a, uh, we introduced it at NAB 2014 and um, it's, a, it's a system that's uh, basically com completely clean. It's, uh, it's not that DIY kind of look. Um, it's a professional system and uh, it has these kind of modes like uh, you have this smooth track mode where it's going to translate your movement, uh, your pan, you have your uh, pitch. Um, we also have, you know, we have besides this uh, standard underslun uh, control mode, we have another mode where you can bring it down like this, <clears throat> and then this will allow you to get closer to your body. Like uh, you don't have these handles in the way as you walk through doorways. And then um, we also have here this right side up mode. Let's turn this around. So. Most times, if you're underslung, you're always shooting at your chest or, or, or stomach level. You do this, and you suddenly are at eye level. Um, all of this is all automatically controlled through our uh, complex algorithms and 32-bit uh, processors. It's more consumer-friendly, meaning you know price comes down. Um, now, one of the things that I've noticed with some of the other gimbal systems is they take a lot of startup. You got to lock them in properly. You have to adjust the servo motors. You got to make sure your load is balanced. When when I turned this on earlier, it did all that for me. It did a self check and it knew where the where the weight was, where the balance was, and then it adjusted itself so that this handle was always pointing forward. Yeah, that's true. Um, we've made everything toolless so that uh, center of gravity adjustments. Uh, are all toolless. It's, it's really fast. And then besides just being toolless, once you get the mechanical part of it set up, uh, we've implemented an app, a button into the app, which will allow you to press a button and then automatically tune all the motors for you. So between, say, like a camera change or a lens change, 
you're no longer spending 30 minutes, you're spending five minutes to do the job. The dead band uh, can be adjusted uh, based off the app. It's all adjusted through the Bluetooth app. And then um, you can also control the speed at which you, your, your movement translates. We call that smooth track. Um, so as you pan, you'll see that it smoothly moves over instead of a sudden jerk, which will, tra which will translate to a very jerky video. We know that the system is going to run for four hours on a charge, but uh, and I know this is a prototype, so you can't tell me things like how much it weighs. Well, I know it supports, was it 15 or 16 pounds? 16 pounds. Okay. So 16 pounds of support. What's the price availability? Because I know there's a lot of filmmakers out there who are going to want this as soon as possible. Where will they be able to get it? When will they be able to get it? How much do you think it's going to cost? Uh, we're not announcing the official MSRP, but uh, we're going to come in at under $5,000. Uh, and uh, it will be released uh, quarter two, which we're in uh, sometime this quarter. Paul, thank you so very much, and beautiful design. Thank you for giving us the Ronin.